Okay. Can we jump to my off-document topic? Uh, I don't know. Is it AI? No. Hmm. No, you'll care about this 100%. Okay, I guarantee go. it. Let's go. Uh, genetic tester 23andMe hacked data uh, as being sold on the dark web. Um, the first amount that was handed, apparently uh, more than half of the company's 14 million customers. Um, We're using password as their password? No. No, no. okay. Um, that, that's a, that's an, I think an estimation or at least a claim right now, uh, because the entire amount of them was not just automatically leaked onto the interwebs, um, because they are trying to sell it. I believe, um, buyers could acquire a hundred profiles for a thousand dollars or as many as a hundred thousand profiles for a hundred thousand dollars because of cost scaling. Um, the, the, a bunch of the leaked data that was leaked to prove that it was real, um, was specifically on Ashkenazi Jews, which has people highly concerned about some of the motivations behind the person who, um, hacked the data. There are other people saying that that might just be designed to draw attention, which it sure definitely has because it's in the headline of like all of the articles that are about this. So I don't know if it's actually like specifically an attack there or if it was just to get eyeballs on it because they want people buying the data. So the more people that know that it's available, um, I'm not 100% sure what the tactic is, uh, but yeah. Can I just say, like, you called it? I am. You were way ahead on this one. I am so. I don't know if you're going to reference it or not. I know what you're. Angry at my mother. Yep. Wasn't sure. I fing told her, don't do this. This is not your data, actually. It's our data, comrade. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a joke on like a, on a very sincere moment. <laughs> That's my whole jam, man. I know. Trust but me, you, bro. You, you got me pretty good on that one. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, keep going. It's a very serious moment. I... I don't know. Maybe I'll just read the email. Oh. Uh... Are you sure? Sure, why not? Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. I've been deciding whether to send this or not. It might not affect whether you decide to use the genetic test you got for Christmas, but these tests are not well regulated and we've only begun to explore the way that the data in them will be used by private companies and government entities. I feel like I needed to speak up. Some reading material. And I linked to a popsci.com article. 23andMe is probably a terrible idea. Uh, it's worth a read. Um, when you do any one of these genetic tests, it doesn't just affect you and your privacy. It affects anyone related to you, including me, helping them build out their database. Their privacy policy may prevent them from selling individualized data at this time, but we've seen many times that Silicon Valley companies will start out with robust privacy policies and slowly chip away at them over time. We've also seen acquisitions and mergers that do not preserve these protections. The issue is that unlike an interest in cars or whatever, your genetic information doesn't change, so this data is given up permanently. I'm not a tinfoil hat wearer by any stretch of the imagination, but given what is already accessible to advertisers, insur insurance agencies, etc., I would rather pay for you to have a genetic test done in a medical slash diagnostic setting if you really want to know. That way the data will at least have a chance of being safe. F***ing idiot. Actually, though. This affects you and everyone in your family tree. And thank God we're in Canada, where we don't have private health insurance. But if you are an American and you are doing these genetic tests, you are not just potentially screwing yourself. You are potentially screwing over every one of your descendants' ability to get health insurance, for example. Pre-existing conditions, anyone? Yeah. 
Yeah. There's a there's a post from a year ago on Reddit that was posted by Handyman at Floatplane Chat. Yeah. Uh, you can never delete your personal information from 23andMe. I've tried. And then it's a, a uh, I think, an email response from 23andMe. We received yeah. your request to permanently de- delete your 23andMe account and personal information. The following apply when you submit your deletion uh, request. If you choose to consent to 23andMe research by agreeing to an applicable 23andMe, ser- 23andMe research consent document, any research involving your genetic information information or self-reported information that has already been performed or published prior to our receipt of your request will not be reversed, undone, or withdrawn. Any samples for which you gave consent to be stored or biobanked will be discarded. 23andMe uh, and the contracted genotyping laboratory will retain your genetic information, date of birth, and sex as required for compliance with legal obligations pursuant to the Federal Clinical Laboratory uh, Improvement Amendments of 1988 and California Laboratory Regulations. Oh my goodness. Uh, 23andMe will retain limited information related to your deletion request, such as your email address and account deletion. This part totally makes sense. Account deletion request identifier as necessary to fulfill your request. That's so you can prove that you did it. That's actually totally reasonable. Uh, for the establishment exer- uh, exercise or defense of legal claims. Yeah, exactly. Um, and as otherwise permitted, required by applicable law. Okay, guys. I feel like I'm having a wake up sheeple moment here. People are like, insurance companies in the U.S. can't discriminate against pre-existing conditions anymore. (laughs) Okay, because legal protections prevent companies from doing stuff? Yeah. Like, are you even serious right now? that might also change at some point. Um, Yeah, we can't count on laws to stay the same. And people are like, how much of this is fear-mongering, though? This is not fear-mongering. This is real. This is now. It literally just happened. All the, a a bunch of information just leaked and is now purchasable on the internet. Some of it leaked and some of it's purchasable on the internet. And the thing is that, like, you can't, uh, we can't predict the consequences. We don't know exactly. And this is, this is not... What if what this if is you not have like a pre-existing far, is, condition? Yeah, this is not far-fetched, you guys. What if you have a pre-existing condition and someone that you want to... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to go And to people are talking about, okay, well, yeah, but like to get health insurance, you already need to do a blood test anyway. It's like, yeah, but hold on a second. Now it's not just a blood test. There's a ton of stuff that you can't tell from a blood test, but you could tell from having a detailed family tree... Right? Like there could be a condition that there could just be, it could just be a numbers game. Maybe, maybe they have a family tree for you. They have, because they have all this useful genetic data that they can link you to a whole bunch of people who, oh, yeah, man, almost no one in this family lives over 60. No life insurance for you. They don't even have to care why. They don't have to find a specific condition. Yeah, yeah, Harry T underscore T. Not even pre-existing. You might have markers for stuff you might get. Yeah, something they couldn't pick up in a blood test. This is a genetic test. You'd have to... I mean, look how angry people were over things like mandatory drug testing in the in the workplace. How how was it ever even thinkable it's, it's always the, to submit your genetic information? Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to be all I told you so, but I sent that email in December of 2019. This momentum didn't have to build. This is not fear-mongering. The for sale post says, tailored ethnic groupings, individualized data sets, pinpoint origin estimations, uh, I don't know what this means, but haplogroup details, phenotype information, photographs, links to hundreds of potential relatives, um, and most crucially, raw data profiles. 100 profiles for 1,000 bucks, 1,000 profiles for 5,000 bucks, 10,000 profiles for 20,000 bucks, and 100,000 profiles for 100,000 bucks. On offer are DNA profiles of millions, ranging from world's top business magnets to dynasties often whispered about in conspiracy theories. Each set of data also comes with corresponding email addresses. For bulk purchases exceeding 10,000 profiles, we offer the flexibility of incremental payments to ensure trust during transactions. Wow. Wild. Yeah. All right. Ah, okay. 
mean, I don't know if I could have explained it any more clearly than I already did, so neat.